now let's see about a sample C++ program or C++ program to add two numbers. Uh, so here this is the input, you enter two numbers. So let the input numbers are 10, 20. And output is here we are printing the message in four lines. Here we are mainly focusing on how to use C out. The first line is like this, sum of A and B is 30 because 10 plus 20 means 30. A second line, sum of 10 and 20 is 30. Third line, 30 is the result of 10 and B. Fourth line, after adding 10 and 20 sum is 30. Uh, so if you understand this program, uh, then we can use the C out in uh, efficient manner in any program. So let's write the program. So the first statement is uh, hash include ivostream.h. Uh, why? Because in this program, we have to use this C out and C in objects. C out and C in objects are available in ivostream.h, where I stands for input, O stands for output. Our next one is main method. So let us assume that the return type of the main is int. Uh, why? Because uh, if a program is successfully compiled and executed, main function returns a value called 0. So 0 means integer value. So that's why here we are declaring the return type of the main function as int. So if the return type of the main function is int, then the last statement of the main function is return 0. If you don't want to return any value, then the return type is void. Why? Because we know what is void. Void doesn't return any value. Okay. So next, what are the variables that are needed here? So first we need to require uh, two variables. So int a comma p. Uh, next, uh, what is the output statement? Enter two numbers. If you want to display some message on the monitor, we use just an object called cout object. So cout is nothing like a printf function that we use just in C language. Uh, here uh, we call C out as uh, an object, it is not a function. So C out is an object which is available in ivostream.h. So C out, here we use less than less than operator. So less than less than means insertion operator. So it inserts the corresponding content which we placed in the corresponding monitor. Okay. So here what is the message here? You enter two numbers. You enter two numbers. So the message that is to be printed will be placed in the double quotations, just like C language, okay. So within the double quotations, we can place uh, a message or uh, escape sequences like slash n and slash t, okay. If you want to display a variable value, then we should not use uh, double quotations, okay. So enter two numbers. So within the double quotations, we have uh, enter two numbers. So this message will be printed on the monitor. So this is the advantage of less than less than. Insertion operator less than less than insert this message on the monitor. So that means it displays this message on the monitor. Next, we have to read the values. In order to read the values, we use a cin object. So cin is just like a scan of function that we use in C language. So cin is an object. With the help of cin object, we can read a value from the variable. If we want to read some data from the keyboard or if we want to read some data from the file, then we use a cin object. Uh, here we use this greater than greater than operator. Greater than greater than is known as extraction operator. Okay. So what are the variables here? A, B. So C in greater than greater than A, greater than greater than B. If we have three more variables, greater than greater than C, greater than greater than D, greater than greater than E like that. So what this greater than greater than will do is greater than greater than extract the corresponding value from the keyboard and he assigns the corresponding value to the variable. So here what is the first value we entered? 10. So 10 will be extracted from the keyboard and the corresponding 10 will be assigned to what? A. Likewise, what is the next value? 20. So 20 will be extracted from the keyboard and 20 will be assigned to the next variable that is nothing but B. So now the value of A and B is A value 10, B value 20. Next we have to calculate sum. So for that, uh, we need to have a variable called sum. If you take C language, then the variables should be declared in declaration part only. So this is the declaration part. So once the declaration part is over, then it is not, then it is not possible to declare the variables. Whereas if you take C++ language, then we can declare the variable at any position, at any location as we want. So here also we can declare the variable. There is no problem. Whereas in C language, it is not possible. 
in c the variables must be declared in the declaration part only next to calculate the sum so what is the formula for sum so sum is equal to a plus b so now what is the value of sum 10 plus 20 so that is nothing but 30 so let us display the first line so what is the first line sum of a and b is 30 so this sum of a and b is nothing but message so we have to display this message within the double quotations so the first line is very very simple c out less than less than so what is the message we have sum of a and b is okay if we want to display the cursor in the new line then we have to use a slash n slash n sum of so within the double quotation slash n sum of a and b is and after that we have some space so after yes give one blank space is so this is the message next to less than less than so what is this 30 30 is nothing but the value of sum so we have to write sum here so we should not enclose sum within the double quotations if we enclose sum within the double quotation then sum will be printed but here we have to display the value of the sum <coughs> so what is the output here less than less than slash n so the cursor we places in the new line within the double quotation we have sum of a and b is so this message will be printed after yes we have one blank space so that blank space will be printed next what is the value of sum sum is calculated 30 so that 30 will be printed here uh, let's see the second line so c out less than less than within the double quotation slash n so that the cursor will place us in the new line if you don't use slash n here then all these four lines will be printed in the same line okay so what is the statement here sum of so sum of is nothing but a message so we have to enclose sum of within the double quotations and after that we have 10 so what is 10 10 means the value of a how to display a variable value directly we can display variable value there is no need to enclose within the double quotation so sum of after f we need to have a blank space so after f give one blank space next we need to display 10 so what is 10 so 10 means the value of a so less than less than a so in place of a 10 will be printed don't enclose a within the double quotations if we enclose a within the double quotations then what will happen the variable this a will be printed a value won't print it okay next less than less than after 10 we need to have a blank space okay so use double quotation one blank space and and the after d also we need to have a blank space so give one blank space next we need to display 20 so what is 20 20 means the value of b so less than less than b next less than less than after 20 we need to have a blank space so within the double quotation d one blank space is less than less than so this 30 is nothing but the value of sum so in this way we have to display the message so here the point is very very simple if you want to print any message or escape sequences then enclose within the double quotation if you want to display variable value then there is no need of double quotation directly use that variable let us write the third third line let us print the third line so c out less than less than slash n 30 so what is 30 so 30 is the result of sum okay but here we need to have some slash n okay so less than less than slash n so that the cursor will place us in the new line next to less than less than so where we have 30 in some variable don't include sum within the double quotations if we enclose sum within the double quotation then the sum will be printed some value won't printed so sum next after 30 we need to have a blank space so within the double quotation give one blank space is result of is a result of next after f we need to have a blank space less than less than next to 10 so what is 10 so 10 means a value less than less than and b here we are displaying b not b value so intentionally i am writing here b here so within the double quotations and b so this message will be printed next semicolon okay so first to slash n so cursor will place us in the new line sum 30 is result of 10 and b will be printed so let us print the last line c out less than less than after slash n 
after adding after adding 10 so how to display 10 a so less than less than a next and place and within double quotations and less than less than how to get 20 so 20 means the value of b 20 less than less than next within the double quotation sum is less than less than sum okay next here we have int so what is the last statement written 0 written 0 so why we use a 0 here if the program is successfully compiled and executed then the main function returns a value called 0 so that's why here we are using 0 next we close the main function so in this way we can write a program in order to add two numbers so this is about a sample C++ program.